Yeah, over the last two or three decades, there have been many advances in surgery, and we, we've come to the point now, rather than long incisions with prolonged recovery, we, we've advanced to minimally invasive surgery. Uh, this takes it to another level. Uh, the, by the instrumentation, uh, 3D vision, for instance, uh, instruments that are very flexible, we can do things that we could, cannot do with traditional laparoscopy. Traditional laparoscopy is limited by certain things such as uh, vision, the fact that the instruments are not flexible. In fact, some people call it straight stick laparoscopy. This, this takes it much further than that. This is the surgeon's console. It has 3D uh, capability, uh, which you don't have with traditional laparoscopy. Uh, these are master controllers here. They, they uh, uh, can transmit your finger movements, the finger movements of the surgeon to the uh, uh, instruments inside the patient where you have very precise control. This is one of the actual instruments that goes into the uh, body. Before, if you can see the, uh, see the end here, it would only uh, open and close. That was, that was what you can do with traditional laparoscopy. This, I mean, it will turn, it's called endo risk, and it will turn just about any way you want it to turn, okay? Uh, it, it's amazing what this thing will do. It'll do things that your hand cannot do. So, this is all computerized, so it's, 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 it's done by the computer with a surgeon's control. The surgeon will stay at the surgeon's console right here, looking in the screen. The patient will be over here with the, with the patient card. Uh, and uh, that is what is actually attached to the patient with the instruments in. Uh, there's a video part as well, so other people can see what's going on in your assistance. You still need assistance. You still need anesthesia. There's somebody with a patient all the time. The patient's not deserted but the surgeon will actually be over here for much of the case. You can use it actually for almost any case that's done laparoscopically, but the, the idea is to do it on more complex cases that you could not do easily. So you, you wind up doing, uh, well, for instance, complex hysterectomies, that's what we would be involved in. That would be very difficult to do with traditional laparoscopy. Uh, it's very, uh, popular in GYN oncology, uh, much of the GYN, the GYN cancer surgery is done robotically. Uh, reconstructive surgery for uh, pelvic surgery is done uh, with this now, pretty much the gold standard. The, the uh, other specialties use it as well, certainly urology was one of the first to uh, pioneer this with, with Prostatectomies, the, the robotic prostatectomy now is pretty much state of the art. And, uh, and of course, any general surgery, uh, there are a lot of uses for it in general surgery as well. The training for uh, using the Da Vinci is fairly extensive. Uh, you spend several hours just familiarizing yourself with the instruments. Uh, even you know, for instance, the surgeon console, there are online classes you take for several hours. Just to, you wind up going to a lab, and then you actually wind up uh, having a proctor for several cases. That that's a surgeon who's trained already, who's been doing it for usually uh, uh, years, who will come in and help. Well, I think this is going to be improved patient care. I mean, and and offer things uh, that w we may not have done here before that we may have felt needed to go to a place, a tertiary care center, for instance, where they had this capability. Once we have it here, I think that will open up the, uh, uh, some of the procedures that we can do that we maybe didn't do before. But I think the bottom line is improve patient care. That's the, that's the goal.